so there's this thought there's this thought experiment yeah it's uh it's also like a paradox and basically it goes like this it's called the ship of thesis theseus or theosis or some shit like that and basically it's a it's a philosophical question as well and here it, it starts like this you have this guy his name is theseus and he has a ship um and he was like some fucking prized prized person of the history and um what they do is when he dies they put his boat on display or some shit like that as a monument towards him and towards the history um and gradually one year after another they'll take away they take away one of the planks of wood from the ship and put another one on so they're replacing it right gradually just one at a time so the first year first year they'll have um only one new wood the second year they have two new woods but the boat's still the boat eventually you have a completely new boat but here's where the question starts is is the boat still the boat or the ship of Theseus or is it a new ship because technically like they only did it they only did it slowly they didn't just break down the ship and bust it down so the the idea and the concept of Theseus, Theseus's ship is still there. Um, does that mean? Does that mean it's not his ship no more? And if so, here's another example. If they take all those um, pieces away, so you have boat A, his original boat. They take all those pieces away, but they replace it with new ones. Now you got boat, you got boat A here, and then they take all the old. Sh- all old pieces from that ship gradually one year after the other and put it onto another car they make a completely new replicate re- replica of the boat which boat is the boat the boat a with the new replacement parts or is it boat b with the old ones and the exact same ship so here's this philosophy now why i, why I bring that conversation up is because as a person you grow and you evolve and every I want to say every experience, right? Every experience you gain something new, you you kind of add that to yourself, and if you're lucky enough, you you can replace that with you replace your um, your negatives with this with this like new positive if it's a positive, and I hope so. For touch wood for your sake that it's a positive. Um, at what stage do you become a new person? Do you ever become a new person? Do you think you become a new person? Because that's how the para- paradox applies to um, us as humans, right? It's like now you've gone through so many things and you've experienced so many things. Are you still the same person that you used to be 20, 10 years ago when you just started to learn about sorrow and you just started to learn about pain and shit like that? You know what I mean? Or are you a completely new person and has that person disappeared and now the concept of you as that person back in the past is still placed in someone's head and even though you've changed and you're still you're still you in someone's head you're still that old ship that was that had you know just been just been placed on one um, just think just been placed as a display piece yeah <laughs> ship of thesis this is i can't say it but yeah the concept's crazy and it applies so much to you as a, as a person when you're trying to grow ah uh.